What's going on YouTube? I'm Nick the Tutor, and today we're gonna to talk about making that final college decision. When you have it down to two, you're accepted to both, and you need to pick which one is right for you. Today we're gonna to talk about how to make that extremely important decision, so let's get into it. All right, so this is a common thing that happens to students, right? You get accepted to a bunch of schools, you have it down to the final two, and you can't make a decision, or you're struggling to figure out what's the right environment for me as a person. Well, this is hugely important, right? Because you'll be spending the next four years of your life at this place, so you don't want to mess it up. So let's talk about how to make the right decision. Piece of advice number one would be obviously to visit both schools if you can, especially at this point in time, you want to make sure that you're comparing apples to apples. So if you visited one and you haven't visited the other, that's going to be a tough decision. Now, if you can visit both, that would be great. If you can't visit, what else could you do instead? Well, most colleges have a virtual tour. Um, you can look up information on YouTube, Reddit, try to find out what the vibe of the school is like so you can see if you feel like you fit well in that environment. If you are able to visit the school, what can you do there to better your understanding of each school? Well, what you can do is you can start asking students or professors questions, see, especially students, do you like going here? What are some of the positives and negatives? What would you change? How would you make a different decision if you can go back in time? Those are all really important things to ask if you do meet students on campus. I would preferably look to ask students that are not part of a tour. Obviously the students on the tour are typically students that love the school. You wanna ask the average student, find someone in the quad or the cafeteria, ask them. You'll get a real picture as to what it's like to go to that particular school. You also maybe wanna visit some of the facilities the school has. Check out the dining halls, check out the gym, check out whatever facilities, you know, dorms that you might be living in. You wanna make sure that you see all these things because sometimes when you go on a tour, they show you the really nice dorm and leave out all the freshman dorms, which are the ones that you'd probably be staying in. So you wanna make sure that you check all of it out. Also, I'm gonna try the food, do all the other stuff now. Like I said, if you can't actually visit the school, all this is gonna be very hard to do, but your best bet is to check out YouTube videos, see day in the life that a student made, and you could really understand more about the school, the vibe, the resources, the facilities, and all that good stuff. All right, so besides the physical things at the campus and stuff like that, what else should you consider? You really should consider the, your major and which school is more notable for that particular major, has a better program, has better, better facilities, better internship placement, all that good stuff. So that would be criteria number two I'd look at would be which school is more well known for your particular major. Now, if you're undecided, you probably wanna to think to the future, okay, these are some of the things that I am interested in. This school does have a very good business program. They have great internships, they have great job placement. So I wanna go with that school over the other one. So you really wanna think about the future outlook when it comes to your education and career. So definitely check that out. Important factor number three to consider would be financial factors. Is the school giving you a scholarship or not? Which school is giving you a bigger scholarship? You also wanna consider things like the total cost of living at the school. If one school is in a suburb and the other one's in a city, you might have to pay more for food, you might have to pay more for laundry, you might have to pay more for going out, all this other stuff. So you wanna factor in the total cost of each school and see which one is a better fit for you financially. If one school can have you avoiding more loans and the other school you have to take out more loans to go to, you might make the decision financially to go to the cheaper school. Not that it's worse, it just happens to be more affordable. So definitely think about those factors as well. All right, so what's one other thing you could do? What I would suggest doing is creating a strong pros and cons list for each school. Go over the major ones first, the things I mentioned, finances, majors, living conditions, so on and so forth, and even down to the finest details and see which one is the right fit for you. Sometimes laying it all on a paper, really digesting it can be a better way to make a decision than to just randomly think about it in your head. Being detail oriented is really helpful when searching for colleges and picking the right one. So definitely try that as well. Now that said, if you end up making the wrong decision, all is not lost. You always have the opportunity to transfer later on. So don't stress out too much about the decision. It is a huge decision, don't get me wrong, but you also don't wanna freak out about it. If you make the wrong decision, there's other options for you. You can always change. If you like the content of this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of the videos. We're dropping this kind of content all month long on every social media platform at Nick the Tutor. So check it out. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.